Well, you have to cancel my appointment with Gloria. I'll be going home on time today. Okay, ma'am. And as for you, I need all the paperwork ready for tomorrow. No yes. excuse. Yes, ma'am. Do you hear that? Yes, ma'am. Fine. You follow me up with my files okay. immediately. I don't. I do not want to wait for you. I'm right behind you, ma'am. I'm so proud of myself today, you know. I couldn't believe I could make this beautiful piece of cake by myself in our home economics practical today. Really? Mm -hmm. But I know you can do it because you are brilliant. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. No and I can't wait for my mom to get home so she can have a taste of this beautiful cake. I know she'll be so proud of me. And you know why? Because I wrote an inscription on it and that says, I love you, mommy. I know I love her so much, right? Mommy's girl. She'll be so proud of me. Tina, can you ever say anything in this world without mentioning your mom's name? Huh? <laughs> I wish my mom is that friendly with me. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, don't worry. She'll come around someday. Trust me. <laughs> um, okay, I need to run along now. I need to set the table before she gets back. <laughs> That's no problem, okay? Take care of yourself. I'll see you in school tomorrow. All right. And don't forget. I send my greetings to your mom. Sure, she'll hear. I'll tell her. <laughs> but take care of yourself, okay? All right, you too. Bye. <laughs> um, don't forget to get me more chocolates. All right, no problem. I'll do that. All right, what right. I'm so sorry. My name is Jerry. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Nice to meet you too. I'm Jane. And you haven't answered all my questions. How may I help you, sir? Well, nice to meet you, Jane. Um, see, to start with, there are many things you can help me with. Too many things. But well, let's begin by being friends, okay? I've been watching you for a while. Uh, I don't want to use the word stalking you, but I've been watching you. You're a pretty lady, gorgeous lady, someone I want to be friends with, okay? I hope that's okay with you. It's obvious you've got nothing serious to do this hot afternoon. As you can see, I'm actually in a haste. Excuse me. Okay, I mean, that's fine, that's fine, nice to meet you, uh, good day, <laughs> bye. Claudia. Hi. 
Wait, hold on. Don't tell me that you have left the office. Oh, oh it's true. I've left. I'm actually on my way home. I want to go see what my daughter did in her home mech practicals. Hmm. But I told you I'll be coming to see you at the office. In fact, I was just about leaving. Eh? Yeah, I'm so sorry, darling. Please, don't be upset with me, okay? I'll see you later. It's okay. I'll be you again. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll call you back. I'll call you. I'm driving at the moment. I'll call you back, okay? All right. Yeah! Tada! I love you, mommy. But wait, I can't believe I made this cake by myself. I guess you like it. Anything for my precious mom. And how do I even start? Hi, pretty. Look, I heard you, but I don't mean any harm. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to myself though. So, I don't know why you paid. That's fair. But like I said, I don't mean any harm. I'm just trying to assist you. I see you have some challenge here. I have a bit of uh, mechanic skills in my fingers. Well, I don't really know what is wrong with my car. It's just suddenly stopped, you know? It's not coming on again. Well, let me see if I can assist you, if you don't mind. Yeah? Like, oh, yeah? It's freaking me out. It's not starting? Yes! Just try, try and kick it, let me see. Just give it a start, let me see. Just try. Oh. See? 
Okay, try it again. It, it comes on and goes off. Try it again. Let me see. Try it again. No. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just check your battery. Make sure your ter your, your terminal is intact. Not coming on at all. Yeah, I'm just trying to check. I, I thought maybe your terminal was slack, but it's not slack. Uh, your your belt, your belt is, is still tight. Your fan is still working. Yeah. You have oil? You have to check the oil. Yeah, I can see you got oil. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry, I thought I could help, but this is a little beyond me. Do you have a mechanic you can call? Yeah, I was about to call him before you walked in. Okay. Let me, let me do that Give now. him a call. Let's see what he can do. Hello, John. John, please, I, I need your help. Where are you? My car just suddenly stopped on the road. It's not moving. I'm standing under the sun, John, please. Yeah, I'm at um, the, the, the street behind government's house. It's called as a street, yeah. Oh, thank God, please. Just, just come immediately, please. Yes, I'm standing under the sun, John, please, just come. Okay. I'm waiting here, yeah. What did he say? He said he'll be here soon. He's just behind the street. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. Everything seemed to be intact. Well, before he gets here, I think I should just stay and wait with you because I don't trust this environment too much. It doesn't look too safe. Is that okay with you? Okay, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Bye. It's, it's a car. I mean, anything can happen, any force. It's electronics, you know? Mm. Don't worry. I don't know. What about the eggs? Eggs are so shaky. So shaky. Hey, come on, please. He's here, he's here. Don't worry. Oh. Madam, what are you doing? Afternoon. What did you do the mother? I wouldn't know, John. I wouldn't know. It's your job. Try and find out. Right. It just stopped coming on all of a sudden. I've checked the terminal already. It's, it's fine. You don't check the oil. Yeah, we yes, check the oil. Help me start a mass. Start, start, mass check. It's not coming on. Try. Wait, wait, wait. Leave her, leave her. You see what he's doing? Like yeah. he's checking. Madam. A problem. Hi. Madam. With that sound we make, eh? Now the Kickstarter. Yes, I know be waiting if you do here. So what I go do now to call to him van, make to and go workshop. So that I go there, calm down, walk him. Now there I go rectify the problem. Hi. You're saying you can't. Do it here. So how, how do I get home then? Well, I can drop you off at home or wherever you want to go. Uh, I'm not doing anything currently, you know, so just to give him time to fix it properly so that it doesn't fail on you again. You understand? I don't mind. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> let me get myself then. Sure. 
Finally, she's back. I wonder what came to us with her. Mr. Jerry, I really do not know where and how to start thanking you for being so kind to me today. Anything for Thank you, my so lady. I appreciate it. Anything for you. I mean, it was, it's nice to help people every time, you know? And, but now that your car is still at the mechanics, how do you get to work tomorrow? I don't mind coming to pick you up, dropping you off at work, and then I will go to work. Wow. <laughs> You're not being serious. Absolutely. I, I, you know, isn't that going to be very stressful for you? No. Because I was actually thinking of using a cab to my office tomorrow. Okay, then let me be your cab man for tomorrow. And, and the good news is this. I don't charge. It's for free. <laughs> you are a funny man. Oh, well. Funny and kind though. 
Thank you. So what time do you want to get to work? Anything 7, 8 is fine. Seven, eight. Yeah. I'll take 7. I will be here 7 a.m. Bim, bim, waiting for you. <laughs> okay? Thank you once again. Thank you. Welcome. Thank so, you. I, I'm not... Tomorrow morning I'll be here at 7 and I don't mind waiting for you for about 30 minutes so you get ready. Take your time. Oh, wow. I, I promise I'm not going to keep you waiting. Okay. 7 is 7. 7 then? <laughs> I will be right here. Thank you. Drive safely. Thank you. Bye. Thank All right, you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, baby, I know where you are. I'm coming. <laughs> I had a hectic day today, but I can't wait to get a warm hug from you, baby girl. I thought I saw Tina outside. Or am I dreaming? Baby! Mommy's home! Sweetheart! How could my mom do this to me? I mean, does it mean she no longer cares about my feelings and all? All she does these days is just to be gallivanting up and down with that man. And I've been, I've been, I've, and I've been just here waiting for her to come home and have a taste of my cake. show you this filter. <laughs> you will love it. This one is so fun. This one. Yeah. The one that has butterflies. Can't you see? Oh! Let me put it on your face. Keep your face. No, it's not coming out. I think it's another one. This one. It's this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> it look like a butterfly. <laughs> I look like a Barbie. <laughs> a real life doll. Yeah, my Barbie doll. Look at you. Let me try another one. Wait, I'm coming. I know what I'm doing. Okay. That one looks fine though. Oh. So this is you, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm looking like an alien. <laughs> that, that's that's that, that's that's your real picture. Oh. You can see that's me. You know me very fine, girl. I took after you. You're my angel, baby. Okay, well, look at us. Both of us are looking like, <laughs> like aliens. Where did we even fall from? I don't know. <laughs> From Maybe Jupiter. from plants. <laughs> <laughs> my God. So say something then. Oh, why is my neck so tiny? So I think my, my neck wants to pull up. Because you're an alien, baby girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, let me look for something else. Hello. Mommy? Mm -hmm, my baby. You're not done. Not done. Mommy, I'm hungry. Okay, baby, let me just do it for you. Let me do you know I can cook. You taught me, right? So I think it's time for me to practice. Mm -hmm. Not a big girl. Don't be looking at me like that as if I don't know. How to but I'm only assisting you, nothing. Mm -hmm. Let me do it by myself. I can't do it. Just sleep it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the night. Okay. I will take this side up, right? Mm hmm. So, you want to take over today? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can do it? Yes, just go to the room and relax. No, 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 I'm just going to be here and, you know, watch you do it. So, if you need any direction from me, you can just ask. And I'm here to guide you. Ouch! My God, did you watch yourself? No, really. Just give it to me. Okay. 
So should I, am I going to peel or wash the glass and which one first? Wait, I'm coming to that. Let me finish with this one first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just let me wash one of the pots. Okay. Mom, you and I know that I made this food. Nearly made by you. Mom, that's not fair. I, I took I took out so much time to make this food and you know that. I hope it's delicious. Mm, I hope so too. Okay. So mm. we go. Right. But I bless this food in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Alright. So Mm -hmm. Mom, mm -hmm. can I sleep in your room tonight? Of course you can sleep in my room. But why? Are you scared to sleep alone in your room? Not You're a big that, girl, you know. Mom, not that. Okay, fine. It's because I don't want anyone taking you away from me and also I'm your big baby. My love, look at me. Nobody will take mommy away from me, okay? Okay. We are in this forever. Alright. And of course, you can sleep in my room. Alright. <laughs> but you have to promise me one thing. What is it, mom? That you're not going to pee on my bed. Mom, how could you say that? Of course, you know I'm not going to do that. I'm just kidding. Alright. <laughs> Time to sleep. Time to sleep. Are you not gonna cuddle me? I'll cuddle you, baby. Now you're trying to make me sleep. Oh. <laughs> I feel so lonely. But why would my mother change all of a sudden? Overnight? Like. It's fine. Baby! My angel! Mommy is back. Please open the door. It's not that late. You can't be sleeping now. Please come. Let's go eat, baby. I'm so sorry for coming back late. A lot happened. I will explain when we when when we sit down, okay? Just come. Mom, I'm not hungry. You can go ahead and eat. Your food is on the table. You can microwave if you want. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. My angel. I said I'm fine. Okay, fine. Mom? Mom! 
money more. Sweetheart. My drama queen. You decided to come out from wherever you were hiding. Right? And I'm going to ask again. What was all that drama for? Nothing, Mom. I just called to let you know that your breakfast is ready. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Look at me. I am your mother. I know when something is not right with you. And you know you can always talk to me, right? So what is the problem? Mom, I said there is nothing wrong with me. I am perfectly fine. This is not my girl. What could have gone wrong? Hey, Jerry, good morning. Oh, wow, you here already? Okay, that's okay. I'm, 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 I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll be with you in, a, in, in, in one minute. One minute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go. Mom, you're not taking your breakfast. Oh, breakfast. I'll do that when I get to the office. Someone is waiting for me already and he's outside. So come, let's go. Do you see? She didn't even bother having a taste of the breakfast I suffered myself to make. It's fine. There's no problem. Mom, where is your car? Oh, I forgot to tell you, my car broke down yesterday, it's at the mechanic. Then how do we get to my school this morning and also your office? A friend of mine came to pick us. Yeah, he's outside, he's waiting, I don't want to keep him waiting. Come, let's go! Come fast! This same guy? I hope he won't be the one taking me to school because I'm not entering that car. What is all this? Hey, so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. So sorry. I told you I really didn't wait. It's okay. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? Very well. What about yours? Oh, I was great. Awesome. Okay. Um. My sweet daughter, Tina. Alright. Tina, my new friend, Cherry. Hi, Tina. How are you today? Doesn't look like she slept too well. Oh, is this school related? I school dead half to okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you keep the time, you know. I, know. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm noted for being on time. <laughs> Tina! What are you doing there? Get him, let's go! Mom, I'm not joining you in that car. It's better we take a cab. to do. embarrass me in front of my guests? Are you mad at something? Now listen to me. Someone is trying to be nice to us. The least you can do is to be grateful. Not stay here and rant like a pregnant woman. Mom. Now, carry the car. 
for goodness sake, he's here because of you and not because of me. So I would say you go into the car, make yourself comfortable. I can wait for Clara. Maybe we can go to school together. Listen to me right now. You better behave yourself. Do not try to piss me off before my guest. I'm respecting myself. Get in now. Don't make me talk too much. Get in. Okay. understand kids of today they are more than a handful trust me because she's behaving really weird i think you need to check there's something wrong somewhere oh my god all these things are shocking to me because this whole thing started yesterday yes and she's not like that she's not this way i don't know why she's acting up like this now it's shocking to me to be honest well, maybe that's more reason why you should probe into it and make sure she's emotionally sound. You know. Anyways, um, can can I take you now to your office, the Royal Majesty? Thank you, office. with you like i don't like this mood of yours what is it clara everything is wrong everything is so wrong i mean my mom no longer cares about me like she, she has suddenly forgot the bond that we shared together clara do you know that this man jerry he has ripping me off my mom no longer comes home early she keeps late nights and to crown it all yesterday my mom did not come home on time to have a taste of the piece of cake I made for her in school. The cake I suffered to make. This woman did not come home to have a taste of it. All because of Mr. Jerry. I'm so confused. Why? Like, are you serious? That is not all. This man had the freaking nerves to come over to the house this morning. Do you know he was the one that dropped me off at school? <laughs> God, what is happening? <sighs> Tina. What could be the cause of this sudden change of your mom? I don't know. Because I know your mom loves you so much. Like, she loves you more than anything in this world. What is going on? I don't know. I'm confused. Like, right now, I'm becoming upset about this whole thing because it's freaking me out. I'm going crazy. So now, what do you have me do? What will I do? You Talk need to, to do me. something. Yes, you need to do something. You can't just let this happen. I keep on saying this. My mom cannot try this rubbish with me. She knows me, Clara. She knows what I can do. So you need to do something, just wake up and do something. I, I don't know. I, I sincerely don't know. It's fine. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Is that not your cab guy? Yes. I need to go now, okay? Talk to you later. Um, sorry, Clara, please. I would love to join you in the car. You want to join me? Yes. I don't want Mr. Jerry coming back here to pick me up from school. Right, no problem. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Everybody wants good love. 
Sometimes emotions can be deceiving But there is a difference between a mother and a child, yeah No matter what, she's always there for a child, yeah, yeah She wants more, she wants attention She's jealous, cause the mother don't give her no my love If you say you love me, tell me how we straight to come to my office empty-handed you couldn't even drop by to get your supposed friend lunch I'm so sorry my darling I'm so sorry actually it crossed my mind though but I didn't know what to get for you and in fact there's no excuse I'm so sorry I'm sorry I promise to make it up to you next no, time you're really. <laughs> forgiving thank you but look at me don't try me <laughs> because I will definitely take my pound of flesh. I'm not joking. I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> hey, hey, how is baby Tina? You know, I've not seen her in a while. I miss her. How's she doing? She's fine. Only that she has suddenly changed from the good girl you know to something else. Like, Tina is now acting so strangely. The Tina that I know is a very good girl, just like her mother. Have you tried finding out what the problem is? Hmm. Claudia, I have tried severally to know what exactly the problem is. She kept saying she's fine, nothing is wrong with her, she should leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. Even when it's obvious that this girl is not fine. She doesn't want to tell. I think she will come around. She will. Yeah. She's a teenager now, and ah, she will open up to you. Is she not your baby girl again? Hmm? She will forever be my baby girl, no doubt. But she should open up to her mother. She should confide in me. She's tormenting me with her silence and is giving me a whole lot of concern. Seriously. I'll keep pressing, like you said. Yes. I hope she opens up on time. She's a teenager. You know what? They always have these things. <laughs> She'll come around. Don't worry. Hmm? And they are children of nowadays. <laughs> That's how they are. Big wahala. <laughs> I pray and hope she can just open up to me. Let me at least know what the problem is and know how I can come in. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, why would you treat that man like that? That's mean, you know. Well, I didn't mean to be mean. But I think it's about time when people are asked to do a favor for someone, they should return the change. Why assume that the change or the balance is yours? I mean, come on now. We need to change as a people, don't you think? Seriously. Seriously, it says him right. It, 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 it. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of it. <laughs> I can tell. My God. No, you're such a funny man. So, Mr. Funny Man, I wonder that you're in my office today. What can I offer you? Hmm. Let me think. You don't need to be dramatic about it. Can you just be serious for once? Okay. <sighs> Let me see, what can you offer me? I want you to not offer me anything, but offer me something special. Please, can you be serious for once and stop being dramatic, my God? Oh, can you right. be serious, please? Okay. What I want you to offer me is for you to get ready so I can take you out for lunch. Wow. Are you serious? Dead serious. I am dead serious. I never reach hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no way you said that to me. No fucking way. My God. You are so funny. Do you know? 
Can you stop clowning? I've been told many times oh. I should have done stand-up comedy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you came right on time. I'm actually on my break time. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get ready then. can't help it. I mean, you are beautiful. You're gorgeous. You are very industrious. Right. And I can't help it, but look at you. And when I look at you, I just look at you. By looking at you, it makes me feel helpless. So I keep looking at you. Please. And then when I look at you, I, I just look. Can you stop already? Please. <laughs> You're flattering me. Am I? Well, I, I mean it though. I mean every word I say. For real. I do. And uh, I like the fact that you are very genuine. I feel your vibes, your energy. It's so fresh and unique. I like that. Thank you. Well, you know. My late husband used to say this to me every morning and night. But after his demise, the only person that has ever said that to me is my daughter. And now you're here telling me the same thing. Thank you. Sorry about this. But well, I can't help it though. I'm gonna keep making you laugh. <laughs> and telling you how gorgeous you are. Already. I mean, I can't help it. Do you really want me to finish this food? Yes. Please, just stop. I need to finish up because the mechanic guy called that he'll be coming to the office to drop my cars by three. Okay, that's good news. Right. So okay. you can stop being my driver. But I want to be your driver. I enjoy. I can give you extra time and days. I'm, I'm always at your service. I know you're not complaining, but I'm taking most of your time, you know. Please, take more of my time. I'm giving it to you. Thank you. Can I eat now? Yes, you're sure. good. And ahead. you promise not to stare at me again. <laughs> okay, I can promise, promise. Okay, let me eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you need to hasten up, right? So, yes. Yeah, I'm hurrying back. Easy. Hurry. Let's go beat the mechanic. Here. What do you mean? How do you know? It means this guy. This, I can't find my car. God, this guy is not here yet. Let me call him, please. I'm sorry for three minutes. Okay. Yes, Mr. John, what's up? Where is my car? Where are you? I'm in my office. I can't find you. What? Oh my God. You're not being serious right now. You are so unbelievable. Listen to me. I am not happy at all. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you. Just make sure you bring my car today. You should not pass today, please. What is he saying? 
can you imagine that he forgot to tell me that he wants to change the engine or you blah 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 and uh, you bring it later why are people not reliable why that's you a life I mean? that's a life of mechanics they are like that <laughs> my only problem right now is how am i going to get home what do you keep stressing you what do you mean how are you going to get home i mean is that a question for me to answer because if it is, I'm sure you already know my answer. Or is it directed to somebody else? Uh, I don't see anyone around here but me. <laughs> so of course, I'll take you. Thank you. I... Won't that be too stressful for you? It won't be stressful at all. In fact, it's pleasurable. It gives me joy. <laughs> I would like to drop by at my daughter's school to pick her up. That's fine. That's fine. We can pick her up and two, three of her other friends, even if they are at different locations, I'm at your service. Please stop cracking me up. <laughs> You're such a funny man. Thank you so much. Welcome. In that case, can I pick up my files and off we go? Yes, why not? Thank you. Yes. Mary! Mary! Please get me my files. Be fast, please. You want to sit down? No, I'm fine. Okay. Here you go. At your service, Your Majesty. Thank you. you ready to sit down now? Yeah. All right. Everybody wants good loving Sometimes emotions can be deceiving But there is a difference between a mother and a child, yeah No matter what, she's always there for a child, yeah, yeah She wants more She wants attention She's jealous Cause the mother don't give another man love Say you love me, tell me how we strangers Why you stressing me, me. Tina, she wants more, she wants love She want it all bad, she fit to go extra mile To get whatever she needs Tina, she wants more, she wants love She want it all bad Where is she? She's not in school anymore. She's not in school? Then where is she? The good man said her friend's father came and picked them up. Okay, that's okay. I mean, but you know which friend it is? Yes, Clara. Okay. But I was actually hoping she would call me, yeah, you know. She should have called. That, that would have been the right thing to do. So, should I take you home? You look stressed. Yeah. Thank you so much for agreeing to be my driver. <laughs> That's funny. You're the funny one now. Well, the pleasure is mine. Yeah, anytime. Thank you. 
Yeah? You made my day. Thank you for making me a part of your day. In that ways, I appreciate you for being so helpful. And here is mine. Thank you. Thank you. So, drive safely. Thank you very much. All right. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. Yeah? So, see you. Later. You, you, you mind? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. You mind? Thank you. Thank you. Later. Bye. All right, bye. If you need me tomorrow, hey, give me a call. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, I, I went to pick you up from your school. I was told you left with your friend in her father's car. And you, it got me worried because you, you couldn't even call me. Yes, Mom. I left with my friend in her father's car. Because I don't want your friend to come pick me up anymore. I don't want to be in his car anymore. <gasps> Wait a minute, Tina. What has gotten into you? No, do you by any means know Mr. Jerry before now? Mom, nothing has gotten into me. As a matter of fact, I don't even know who Mr. Jerry was before and I don't wish to know who he was before now and after. Mom, I don't care. Tina. <sighs> Did you just talk to me in that manner? No, am I the one you just spoke to like that? Mom, listen, I don't wish to continue this conversation anymore. And if you will excuse me, I have a test tomorrow morning in school. <laughs> Tina. Tina! Wait. Tina! Did you just walk out on me now? Tina! Tina, you can't keep doing this to your mother, okay? Open the door, I want to talk to you. Besides, where did you even learn this behavior from? taught me anything. Listen, I'm old enough to know when I am being fooled, okay? You can't be treating me this way and you expect me to just, just take it that way. Mom, see, um, I, I want to sleep. Huh? We'll see tomorrow morning. It's me, your friend, your mother. What's wrong with this woman? Why are you stopping my sleep? Okay, I just want to say good night to you. Can you open the door, please? Okay. Let me hug you and just say good night. That's all. Tina! Oh. 
Alright then, good night. Oh my god. What is wrong with my daughter Tina? That my sight easily irritates her. She now talks to me, her mother, the way she likes. My God, who could be doing this to me? What could have gone wrong? Tina, why? What has come over you? Hmm. I know what to do now. I have to invite one of our teachers to my office tomorrow. I need to speak to her teacher because if I leave this now, it might result to something else. Keep mommy standing, okay? It's rude, you know. Okay, you know mommy's going to work, right? Mom, you can go. I can find my way to the school. I know. I'm having your breakfast. I brought your breakfast for you. I want to feed you, my baby. I've missed feeding you. And I want to feed you, okay? Just open the door for me, okay? Mom, like I said, I can find my way to the school. And I'm not even hungry. If I'm hungry, I can get some things for myself. Oh, okay, fine. It's fine. I'm going to drop your food at the dining. So you do well to eat. I know you don't want to see me, but please do not starve yourself, okay? Whatever. Please. It's going to be on the dining, okay? Do not forget to eat it. Where did I love go now? Where has the love gone wrong? You tell me you love me, but I feel apart. All the love meant for me, you gave another man. I love is mother why the love is I know you need a life too oh, but here am I a child too If I ever ask for too much I will hold Tina, can you just stop? Can you stop all this and cheer up? I don't like this dark attitude of yours this is not you! Cheer up for crying out loud! Clara, no, tell me. What would you have me do? Ever since my mom brought that, that man close to the house, I have not had peace of mind. I mean, my mom has changed. My mom no longer looks at my face. My mom no longer takes care of me. She no longer sees me relevant in the house anymore. She no longer gives me all the time. She no longer does the things we used to do together because of that man. And to worsen it all, she still brought him to the house yesterday. Uh -huh. Are you serious? What do you mean to do? Tina, Tina, honestly, I understand you. I really do. But this is more than we thought. Why? My mom cannot try this rubbish with me. She cannot try it. Me, Clara. Let me not even talk too much. She knows what I can do. Okay. Fine. What do you suggest I do? Hmm? What do you want me to do? Because because I, I, I'm I'm losing it. Like I'm I'm going mad. I'm going crazy. I feel like running away. I feel like going somewhere else. I I, I feel like disappearing. For what reason? Why you run away from your house? Why? Just just calm down. Okay, calm down. <gasps> Tina, if I'm you, you see that man. That you that calls himself your mom's boyfriend. I will use attitude and chase me away from my mom. Yes. Like I will frustrate him to the extent that in his entire life, 
You will not come close to my family. Want to talk of coming close to my mom. It's not clear again. It's not me. He will go suffer for my hand. He will suffer. I, I, I don't, and I sincerely don't know, but I feel like at this point, I'm not going back to the house. Yes, I'm not going back. Why would I, why would I even go back there? No, to go back there and start facing my mom not taking care of me, my mom not even looking at my face no, anymore. Is that what you want? That's not the best option. Stop. You know what? Don't try going away from your house. It's only a coward that runs away from his own battle. Wait. Are you calling me a coward? No, 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 no. Don't misquote me. What I mean is this. Running away from your house, you will still come back to face your battle. There's, like, there is no need for you to run away from your house. Do you understand me now? Just be courageous. I think I know what to do. What? I will face him squarely. I will so deal with that man that never in his life will he near my mother anymore. I will make him pay for trying to come in between my mother and I. This man has to pay dearly. By the time I am done with him, <laughs> he would never in his entire life dream of coming anywhere you close to my mom. Now you are talking like my best friend. Now you are talking. Let me tell you, the best form of defense is attack. If you want peace, prepare for war. Sepam Belu Pekam Pere. That's my dad used to say. What did you just say? Sepam Belu Pekam Pere. That sounds funny, you know. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> um, that reminds me. Forget the fact I was angry and all. But right now, I'm happy. Yes, this I love is it. the best biscuits I have ever tasted since you started bringing biscuits to school. Really? Yes, I know chocolate is my flavor. <laughs> no one can come to school tomorrow and get some for you. Really? My Aww. dad put it for me. I love you, best friend. I love you too. <laughs> All right. minute you are going to walk past me without greeting your mother 
Is that it? No, when did that rubbish behavior of yours start? I'm talking to you. Are you mad? Where are you coming from? I'm talking to you. Where are you coming back from? Oh, you now keep late night in my house. Really? So, it has gotten to this right now. I'm talking to you! And you answer me. Okay. It started the moment yours started. That was when mine began. Remember? Mm-hmm. You can remember, right? So I would like you to mind your business. Tina Nan talk back at me. Where did I love really go now? Really grunts some wings that needs to be cut down. Where's the love gone wrong? Enough is enough, Tina. Love me, love enough. Tell me you love enough. me, but I feel apart. All the love meant for me, you gave another man. I love is a mother, why the love is so. <laughs> you made it fun for me, I'm telling you. It was mad fun. No, you did. No, you did. <laughs> you are such an amazing woman, I'm telling you. Oh my you. God, thank you so much. Especially for the gifts. They are so beautiful. I love them. Yeah? I'm glad you like them. You're welcome. Anytime. And uh, make sure Tina gets hers. I'm hoping she likes them. Of course, she will love them. She loves new outfits. If you leave that girl, she wants to change her wardrobe every week. <laughs> yes. Really? That's a big woman. Is that how she is? Yes. I see. <laughs> well. I know she will love them. She'll be so happy. <laughs> That's good to know. My God, she loves fashion. Oh, yeah? <laughs> then she's going to be my friend. Because I am so into fashion as well. Okay. Thanks to both of you then. <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice. Oh, sweetheart. My baby. Your mother is back. <laughs> and not just how. I got you some goodies. Check them out. You know, Jerry took me out for shopping. Yeah. And I got us nice things. You and I will be twinning these days. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mom. I don't remember telling you that I, I want to change my wardrobe. I mean, if I want to get new clothes for myself, I know the way to the mall. I could, I could definitely go get them myself. How are we going to start arguing about this right now? 
you should have tried checking it out first before lecturing me. Okay, fine. As your mother, I sure do know what you like and what you don't like. So you don't necessarily need to be there for me to buy you something. I should always get you something whenever I see something I know you will like. That's what a mother does for her daughter. <laughs> Mom. Check their voice. You will like them. Mom. Mm -hmm. I remember we... We do get those things together. Right? So, what happened today? Why did you choose to go without me? All these questions before you check out what your mother picked for you. The special things she bought for you, herself. Right? Okay, well, I didn't know that Jerry was going to take me out Hey, for Mom, please. Please, save this explanation for another day. I'm having headaches. I need to take a nap. I need to take a nap. Wait a minute. Tina. What did you just do, Tina? No way you did that to me. Where did I love go? The love gone wrong You tell me you love me But I feel apart All the love meant for me You gave another man I love you so Mother, why the love is so I know you need a life too Oh, but here am I, a child too If I ever ask for too much I will hold my peace But I need you right here Need you right here All the things we shared All the jokes, all the laughter I remember just like yesterday Now I feel you are a stranger <laughs> Look at this one oh, no, 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 no This one is not fine now Something trending, you know? Wait Let me show you this designer's page You like this one? It's just to get a good designer that can make it like yes. this. Yes, this one is nice now. This is what I'm talking about. Hey, Tina, how are you? I'm fine, Auntie Claudia, and you? I'm okay. You look very good. It looks like you're going out. Yes, I'm actually on my way out. Oh, okay. <sighs> exactly what I've been talking to you about. You see it yourself right now. You hmm. can see for yourself, right? My dear, you have to think. You have to think. I'm sure that something must have led to this attitude of ours. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is not our Tina now. Eh? <sighs> hey. You know, um, on my way here, I was thinking about something. I was saying to myself how blessed I am and how I blessed the day I first met you. And you, you make me happy. And I want to promise you that I will give you everything you want in this life. Well, not everything, almost everything in this life. <laughs> Jerry, you want to make me emotional? It's okay to be emotional. It's fine. <laughs> Express it. Let it flow. <laughs> Look, let me, I want to ask you something, okay? And I need an honest response from you. If that's okay. <laughs> okay. 
I wish to take you and Tina out tonight. Please say yes. I just want us to spend some time together. Say yes, please. It's a yes for me, but I, I can't say for Tina. Maybe I would have to talk to her and then revert. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, uh, Tina is a cool girl. I don't think there should be any problem. But if there's a need to have to convince her, well, let me know. I think I'm good at it. I'm a comedian, remember? I'm just funny my way around. <laughs> I don't think it should be a problem. I just want that yes from you. Yes, it's my yes, Jerry. Bam. <laughs> so that's it. It's a deal, then. We're going out tonight. Yes. Yep. And in that case, I would have to go home early so I can get ready for you. Yeah. And in that case, if you have to go home early so that you can be ready for me on time, that means I need to get out of here early to make you close work early, and then you can come and meet me early so we can go out early and then come back on time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See Thank you. you. Yes, babe. I know. I know. Okay, hon. See you then. Madam, what is going on here? I mean, why are you smiling like a teenager in love? Wait, don't tell me that that young man I saw in your office is the same Jerry you've been telling me about. Oh my God, why are you bombarding me with so many questions? <laughs> like, you have to take it easy. Calm down. Hit me one after the other and I'll answer you. Okay. So you go ahead, hit me with the first question. It's okay, I'm calm now. So tell me, what is the meaning of all this? What's going on? As is going on. <laughs> well, it's Jerry, my man. Ooh. Listen, babes, I, I think I'm actually in love with him. Yeah, because this guy, there's something special about him. He's such a perfect gentleman, like my perfect man. <laughs> kind, loving. Oh my God, he's so sweet and cool. Oh, come off it, girl. You told me that this young man is just a friend. So, uh, of course, he was just a friend. But not anymore. Because right now, we've graduated from being just a friend to special friends. I love him. And do you know the most important thing? He feels the same way for me too. So that makes the both of us two hmm. love beds. Wow. But... Have you thought of how your daughter will see all this? Have you even told her about him? Well, I haven't told her yet. And uh, I'm not really sure about how she's going to feel about it. But of course, she should be happy for me. Hmm, madam, you better talk to your daughter about it too before you make the biggest mistake of your life. Huh. I will definitely tell her because she's my best friend. She ought to know what is happening in my life it's and okay. I'm sure she's going to be happy for me. It's okay. You know, I have to go get ready for my man because he's taking me out tonight. Ha! <laughs> okay, oh. Mm. There's no problem, but I just hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Do I look like I don't know what I'm doing? Excuse me. <laughs> no, looking at you, you look like a teenager, like a small girl who just fell in love. Hmm? <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. It's okay. You should try falling in love. Too. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Did you know 
hear me call your name? Why didn't you answer from inside? Why didn't you answer? Mom, I was busy, but I'm here now. Okay. I am calling to tell you that you have to get ready. Jerry is coming to take us out. I need you to be in your best look. If you need me to come to your room and help you select your best clothes, I would gladly do that. That is why I'm calling you. Mom, I don't need you to come and help me select any dress because I am not going anywhere with you guys. Excuse me. Yes, I'm not moving an inch from this house. Uh-huh. Tina, Mom, what is that supposed to mean? It means I am not going anywhere and that's fine now. And where do you think you're going to? You trying to walk out on me? No, I'm talking to you! Stand there! Oh, please! Tina! Tina, are you mad? I am talking to you, you're walking out on me. Why did that one start? Hey. Jerry, this is really becoming too much. How can you insist on taking a single mom and a daughter out on a date? Are you insane? Have you heard the proverb? Love me. Love my dog. Well, well, I love Jane, yes. And if I love Jane, I love her daughter. That's how it works. And I intend to tell Jane tonight that I want her to be my girlfriend. And that is why I'm taking both of them out. I don't see why that should be a problem. Jerry, I can see you've made up your mind. And there's nothing I can do about it. Good. Good luck. There's nothing you can do about it. I've actually made up my mind. That's what I want to do. So what I really need from you now is your support as a friend. Support? Yes. Jerry, please count me out. Don't get me involved in this. For real. I don't have to support this. Count me out. Yes. Tina, you aren't dressed yet. Mom, but I told you I'm not going anywhere with you. Hey, best friend! <laughs> I'm fine, ma. Um, I've been busy lately. But I'm here now, ma. I see. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> She want my long thing, hey, yeah. The things I got, girl, I go give you. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful design, girl, you know that I love you till I die. Hey, you know that I love you, oh, you forever, ever in my mind. I give you my word, oh, girl, you so fine, oh, your beautiful smile, oh. Now please give me 
My baby dance you in my legion I do as a dance you in my legion In my legion I'm not going anywhere with them Tina, please calm down Please calm down Guess what? What is it? My hips are getting bigger than yours. Mm -hmm. Check me out. Are you talking? Mm -hmm. Are you blind, baby girl? Can't you see my backside? Like, can't you see it? Far bigger than yours. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But guess what, baby girl? What? I'm still your boss in this game. My boss. Mm -hmm. Are you talking? My boss. Of course. My seriously. Me. Can you stop it? Who's just your boss? I don't understand. You can't be my boss, of course. You just hit Awesome, I love the colors. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. Nice. I know you love it. Yeah? Where is <laughs> Tina? Is she ready? Yes, she's. Let's go inside so I can get my bag and then fetch her. Okay, let's go. Tina, you're not supposed to be dressed by now. Uh, Tina, how are you? Did your mother not tell you that we will be going and out? And they should tell you that I am not interested. Tina. I mean, where on earth is it by force to go out with someone? H have you lost it or something? I I Come on, please. It's alright. It's fine. Listen, it's going to be fun. Trust me, you will love it. Just allow us to go and then you see what, what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what? When you're done talking, you can make use of the door. Tina! I, come, come back here! Tina! Help Tina! Oh my god. Look, I'm very, I'm very, very sorry. Okay, please do not put it to heart. It's alright. She's it's just right. a child, okay? Yeah. I understand these things. It's okay. It's fine. But you're still gonna go out, right? Oh, of course. Yeah? Let me get my bag. Okay, sure, no problem. I'm sorry, it's please. Okay. It's alright. Yeah. My mom no longer cares about me. Hmm? She doesn't even care of how I feel. Imagine she left with that man without even looking back. Why would my mother choose to treat me this way? Now tell me, why? I just need to calm down. I know it hurts, but I still can't believe that your mom, that loves you so much, can do this to you. Like it's unbelievable to me. You see? You see it? That is exactly what I am saying. I hate her! Yes! I hate her! Oh, stop! 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 Oh, it's, okay. it's okay. I understand how you feel. It hurts a lot. It's okay. Stop. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop. Um, if I may ask, have you told her the reason behind your sudden change of attitude? No, I haven't. But my mom should have known. Of course, because. She knows I've never disrespected her or anyone before. She should know the reason for all this. She should know I'm only jealous because she spends most times with this man and this man is gradually taking away my mother from me. Tina! <laughs> Tina! You're getting everything wrong. How will she know? She's not a ghost to know what is in your mind or how you're feeling. Do you understand? 
She's still a mom. And I know she loves you. She does. Huh? She loves you so much. Just, just tell her how you feel. Tell her she will understand. <laughs> like, Tina, that man can't take your mom away from you. Like, never. It's not possible. No, no. He can't take away my mother from he me. Can't. He cannot. He cannot do it. He can't. Stop. Stop. I love my mommy. She loves you too. No, no, she doesn't. Everybody wants good love. Sometimes emotions can be deceiving. But there is a difference between a mother and a child, yeah. No matter what, she's always there for a child, yeah, yeah. Oh, Tina, she wants more. She wants attention. She's jealous. Cause the mother don't give another man love. Say you love me, tell me how we strangers Why you stressing me? Tina, she wants more, she wants love She want it all bad, she need to go extra mile To get whatever she needs Tina, she wants more, she wants love She want it all bad Clara. 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 Ma. Sorry to wake you up, but it's late. Aren't you going home this night? Yes, yes. I have to go. Good evening, ma. You're welcome. Oh, good night. Oh, my. Good night. Be safe, yeah? My angel, Tina, how are you? Where did our love go now? I can see you are fast Where asleep. Sorry for waking you up. Gone? Speak to you tomorrow then. You tell Night. Me you love me, but I feel apart. All the love meant for me, you gave another man. I love is mother, why the love is oh my God, what time is the board meeting again? Same. Same. And you, what are you holding? I hear the friends you asked for. Oh, okay, yes. Thank you. Please tell um, Joy to get me coffee yes. fast, okay? Okay. It, it, it was even becoming very embarrassing, I'm telling you. I, I mean, she just wouldn't listen. I tried talking to her daughter. Bluntly, she refused to follow us. I mean, I didn't get it. I even felt so bad. You know, she eventually just walked away in annoyance. She, she left. Jerry, can you see the mess you're dragging yourself into? I warned you before. Don't get me involved in this. So why my friend then? Because I have a situation. I'm trying to get out of it. I thought rather you reason with me and try and see how I can best solve this. But rather you, you're not on my level. You're not thinking what I'm thinking. I, to, to think that I said I love this lady. <laughs> Jerry. 
What do you want me to say? Yes, what do you want me to say? Can't you see how this little girl is playing with you as if you are a classmate? I told you, don't come crying to me when it happens. For real, don't come crying to me. Okay, so because I've come to your house to ask you for advice, you are telling me all of this, that me will come crying to you as if I'm some small boy? It's okay, I'm just gonna leave. Hey, see, 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 Jerry, Jerry, see. There's a saying that it's only a friend that can tell the other friend that his mouth is smelling. Jerry, I am telling you this is not good for you. You're just being arrogant and proud for nothing. Can't you see what is going on? A lady who has a, a, a daughter and you're, you're dead killing yourself over her. Come on, if you are angry, you, if you want to go, you can go. I don't care. What's up? I'm your friend. I'm talking to you. You should listen to me. Come on. What are you saying? If you want to leave, you can leave anyway. Hey, hey, Jerry, come, come on, come on, come on. I was only joking. You said I should leave. Jerry, please, come on. You're my friend. Okay, I am very sorry. I am. Please sit down. Just sit, man. We need to talk about this. Come on. I, I don't understand you again. Real. You're my brother, man. Because I come to your house now and you are just telling me... Chill, chill. Um, what do I get for you? I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know. Oh, are you? <laughs> I can see it all over you. You are surprised. My God, apart from being a funny guy, you are also mysterious. Mysterious? Hmm. Okay. You so, don't think so? I, I think so. I'm telling you now. <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how how's Tina doing? Is she better now? <sighs> Tina. Tina is tormenting me. Really? She's torturing me. Yes. Tina has changed from the sweet girl I used to know to something else. I just can't tell what has gotten over her. Honest to God, I'm really shocked. Tina is now so rude, disobedient, arrogant. She hardly eats my food, and this is a girl that I used to share a very strong bond with. Aside being my daughter, we are friends, like close friends. But these days, I can't find that bond we used to share together. And she was never like that? She was never like that. She used to be a sweet girl, you know, so loving, kind, obedient. Have you tried checking? Maybe there's a problem. Maybe there's something wrong somewhere. Jerry, I've tried several. I've tried speaking to her, but she wouldn't talk about it. You know, she doesn't want to talk about it. She's giving me this silent treatment. And to be honest with you, it's killing me, Jerry. It's killing me. Okay, listen. See, um, forgive me for saying this, but have you checked? Maybe there is a boy involved, as if she has a boyfriend and he's stressing her over sex or probably taking her virginity and Sorry, there's something. Never. I can I can I can swear for her. She doesn't. Wow, just saying. Listen, if she does, I will be the first she will tell. You sure? I will know first before any other person. She will tell me. She doesn't have any man in her life. Okay. I, I'm trying so hard to figure out what the problem is, but she's not speaking to me. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm just suggesting, you know, because parents sometimes these things become an oversight. I'm just suggesting, that's all. She doesn't have any man in her life. That I am sure, okay? 
I don't know what has possessed my daughter. I can't tell. But this is not the Tina I used to know. And I'm so, so worried. made your favorite. I don't know why you're drinking that. I yeah. said I'm fine. I'm not hungry. She's jealous. Cause your mother don't give another man love. If you say you love me, tell me how we strangers. Why you stressing me? Tina, she wants more. She wants more. She wants it all bad. There you go. <laughs> Somebody wants to play smart, okay? <laughs> Check. Check. Tina, hey, come, come and join us. I am whooping your mother here like nobody's business. Of course, you know your mother is the winner. Don't mind him. Yeah, right. Look, how, how many do you have? One, two, three, four. I have two, four, six. I've got something. Yeah. Come, come, come. Sit down. Sit down. Join us. Tina, come sit with us. Did I by any chance tell you that I want to play a game with you? Did I? Obviously not. If I wish to play a game, I have Clara there to play with me. So, I don't know where all this is coming from. Why can't you just shut up and mind your business? I mean, why must you interfere in people's lives? Huh? Tina! Mom, please! Stay away from this. I'm not asking you, Mr. Man. Or have you suddenly gone deaf and dumb at the same time? Well, I don't actually blame you. I blame myself for coming down here to pick up my precious teddy bear. It's, it's okay. It's fine. I I don't particularly like the way she speaks to me, but I get it. She's a child. She's growing up. She doesn't understand these things. It's fine. Oh my god. Uh, it's okay. I'm really sorry. It's fine. Check. Check. Sometimes emotions can be deceiving. But there is a difference between a mother and a child. Yeah. Tina. No matter what. Tina, what is this again? For a child, it's because of that little yeah. couple that calls himself Jerry. It's because of him. It's about him. It's about him and my mom. Again? <laughs> oh. I don't even know why this man has refused to stay off site. Normally. In, in our house, of course, you know how close I am with my yes, mom. Mm? We normally play this game, this chess game. But right now, now that I speak to you, my mom now prefers to play our favorite game. Mr. Jerry. This Jerry has ripping up. Oh God. It's that man. I so much hate that man, Jerry. You don't even hate him as much as I do. Why is he trying to put an enmity between a mother and a child? I don't know. No. That's the point I don't even understand. Don't even let it happen. Like, do not let it happen for any reason. You know what? The other day he came to the house. He was seated comfortably playing the chess game with my mom. And he had the nerves, I mean the audacity, to invite me to play with him. <laughs> but trust your girl. Trust your girl, Tina. What did you do? I gave him the better insult of his life. No! I insulted him. <laughs> my mom even wanted to come out. I shut her up. Give me high five. You did well. You did well. You did. You can play with me. You did me. well. Tina, you did hey. well. You don't even need to be sad at all. You would have even slapped out all his teeth. Mm -hmm. Next time, you even have mouth to say hello. Like, you did well. Please study Tina. Like, the Tina I used to know. My baby girl. <laughs> 
See, let's run along with the only ones we left to school. It's let's true. go. Gossip don't allow us. <laughs> so let's go. Yes, yes, coming. Good evening, Ma. Evening, Clara. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Ma, we're still not back from shopping. I'm here to know what she bought for me. No, no, she's not back yet. Thank you. No, come back. Come on, sit here. No, I hope there is no problem. No, no problem at all. There is something I want to ask you and I need you to tell me nothing but the truth. I know Tina, my daughter, is your best friend. We both confined in each other. You know things I do not know. So I want you to be very honest with me and answer this question. Does Tina, your friend, my daughter, have a boyfriend? A boyfriend? No. Tina don't even have a male friend. Don't talk of a boyfriend. It has always been both of us. Okay, if that is the case, why the sudden change of behavior in her? Why, why is she acting strange all of a sudden? Are you telling me the truth or you're hiding something from me? Because my mind is telling me that you're lying to me, Clara. Mm. Yeah. Look at my face and answer me. Ma, honestly, I don't know anything. I think you should ask Tina yourself. She will be in a better position to answer you. I have tried. I've tried asking her, but she wouldn't tell me anything. She doesn't want to talk to me. I've tried my best. She's not talking to me. She's your friend. And I know you know things I do not know. Yeah. That is why I'm asking you, look at my face. Something in me is telling me that you are not telling the truth. And I don't know why you are hiding this from me. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. Just ask Tina yourself, ask her. Maybe, I believe she will tell you. I need to, I need to go now. I'll be back maybe when she's she's back. Thank you. Where did I love go now? Where is the love gone wrong? I tried speaking to her friend about it. To know whether she can tell me what her exact problem is. She denied not knowing anything and ran off instead. That can be very frustrating. I mean, I know how you feel. It's terrible. To top it off, her birthday is in two days' time, and she's not even saying anything about celebration, and that's totally unlike her. Because my daughter loves celebrating every of her birthday. She's not even speaking about it. Okay, so let me. Let me surprise her with something and let's see how that goes. I'm sure she'll like it so much she will totally forget there was a problem. You think that will work? It will work. I will get her a present that she will like. It should work, trust me. I have something, I always have something up my sleeve. It does not make me laugh, seriously. I'm not in that mood. <laughs> my God. What? You mean my mom asked you this about me? Of course, she did. But I told her the truth, that you don't have a boyfriend. But how could my mom think of such about me? <laughs> I never knew it has gotten to this, honestly. Like, I sincerely did not know. My dear friend. She even pleaded with me to tell her why you suddenly changed towards her. But I told her I don't know. 
and I left the house. Trust me. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I never knew my mom could be this consigned about me. Huh? And she's yet to figure out that it's all because of that man. Then let her know. Tina, let her know how you feel. Your mom is not a spirit. Remember, next tomorrow is a bad day. You just need to sort things out with your mom. Oh, don't you want to celebrate your birthday this year? Clara, you know what? Not to worry. I know what to do. <laughs> Tina, better do something. Of course, I will. Better do something. Trust your girl. Tell her. I will. <laughs> so, 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 Jerry, I actually told her I am not interested. I can't kill myself now. Okay. Hey. So you say you define hot chicks, hot babes. They are coming now. You are running. <laughs> See, Jerry, this thing is not really funny. You. See, you know that girl will sell me and keep the balance. I swear, she's too wild. Like you know that thing they say, open eye. Come on. Stop now. <laughs> You want hot babe, they are coming. Stand! Stand there! Yes. Stand now! <laughs> Idiot of a guy! I beg! Like, hey, 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 that reminds me. Yeah. Tomorrow is Tina's birthday. And uh, I was thinking I could do something massive for her, you know, some surprise. I just want to shock her. Eh? Okay. Well. What do you mean, okay? Well? That's it? What do you want me to say? Tomorrow is Tina's birthday. You want to do something massive for her, right? So am I supposed to be jumping? Hey, hey, hey Tina's birthday. Guy, wait. When you even do massive something for me? Yes, I'm your friend. When have you surprised me? Tina's birthday. Okay, you want us to start quarreling about it, right? <laughs> wait, you be babe. It's not about that. Are you a girl? But I'm your friend. <laughs> now, but are you a girl? But I'm your friend. Jack, get out. Come on. Get nigga. out there. You should do something for me. Get out there. Get What's out. What's up with you? Get out. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> I am very, very serious. Don't no, this time around, I didn't plan anything for her at all. <laughs> I didn't make any plans for her. Wait, why? I mean, this is the first time that you're not planning anything for your daughter. Why? That is because there is always a first time. There's no big deal there. After all, Jerry promised to get her a gift. He's going to surprise her. And I trust him to do to do it well. Oh. So Jerry is now the one doing everything for you. Jerry is the one planning your own daughter's birthday for you. Are you okay? I mean, this is not the gen that I know now. Excuse me. Claudia, what are you on about? Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> My dear, listen to me. I don't know what you expect me to do. I said someone is getting a birthday gift for her. Jerry knows please, how to please, surprise please. This is your Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I don't understand. We're talking about your daughter here and your staying Jerry. And because I trust him to make it a special one for her. <coughs> hmm, Jerry. It's okay. Wait. Are you being jealous or something? I'm not, but we're talking about your daughter here. Your daughter's birthday. Please come, let me see you off. Your time is up. And you're all about Jerry. We're talking about your Happy birthday! <laughs> Tina! Happy birthday! I got you something! Ha! <laughs> Tina! Happy birthday to you! I got you a cake. Look at it written right there. Happy birthday, Tina! I heard you like chocolate, so it's chocolate flavored. And that's not all. 100,000 just for you. Happy birthday, Tina. Wait a minute. Did I tell you I need a birthday cake? Who 
are you to get me a birthday cake? I mean, <laughs> you know what? Take this and leave here this minute. I mean, look at you looking so miserable and you're getting me a birthday cake as in who are you? I'm talking to you. Oh, okay, fine. You don't want to leave, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> this is the money, right? Okay, and this is the birthday cake, I presume. And this is the sweet cake. This is what you get. This is it. Since you don't want to leave this house. Get out! Get out of this house! Oh my god. Tina, what have you done? I'm talking to you! Have you gone mad or something? Mom! Mom! We have to leave this house! Um, Tina, have you lost it? Answer me! Are you mad? Mom, this is exactly what you're saying! Oh, ah! Right? Right? Mom! <laughs> You slapped me because because of a man. No, mom, you raised your hand on me for the first time. Well, how could you? Ever since you started seeing this man, you no longer have time for us anymore. There is no longer any fun moments for the both of us. Mom, I know, I know you've always hated me. Oh, I, I didn't know it would get to the point of you raising your hand on me. So he's the reason why you've always been avoiding to help me with my assignment. You always found that you're busy and all. Mom! Mom, because, because of him, man. Because of him. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm not gonna cry. It's fine. It's fine, Mom. But I just want you to know one thing. I hate you! Mom, I hate you so much! You know what? You can go on and carry on with the celebration with him. You can celebrate my birthday with him. Yes! You guys can go on and do the birthday without me! Leave me alone! It's okay. She's going through a lot. It's, it's, it's fine. There's something wrong somewhere. It's fine. Just relax. Tina! Tina! Figure out what the problem is with you, but you refuse to tell me. I feel that someone is just open the door near me out. Take me to my dad. Take me to my dad. I hate you. Take me to him so I can stay far away from you and your lover. Now I feel you are a stranger Can't you see the love is apart? Oh, I want you, I need you right I am sorry, Tina 
I didn't mean to want you this way. I want you, I need you right here. Your father died when you were still a baby. Now look at mommy. Mommy's not carrying me. No, I am not carrying you. Hi, darling. Your daddy said you're now a big girl very soon. You'll be going to daycare. And you know what? I'm going to send her to one of the best schools. Uh oh. -uh. This is my angel, huh? mommy. Daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. Your mommy is jealous. Who is jealous? Who is jealous? I'm not <laughs> jealous. No, I'm not. This is my love, now, not you. Oh, really? Okay. Hey, Tina girl. Okay. Tina girl. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to check uh, my site. Let me say two of you. Okay, let's see you off to the car. All right. All right. <laughs> hey. Okay. Tina, listen. Just listen to me, okay? You are all I've got right now, okay? Nobody can take your place in my life. Jerry is in the past. Never to come back again in my life. Yes. I can't trade you for another, okay? Please. Just open the door. I want to talk to you, okay? I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. I'm very sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my head. I'm so sorry. I'll be expected to. Okay, today I'll be making a very delicious, sumptuous meal. <laughs> but you know, you remember the kitchen rules, right? What again? If the food is delicious, I made it. But if it's not, you prepared it. Okay, no problem. 
No problem, silly girl. <laughs> so if it's not delicious, I made it, right? Yes. <laughs> but if it's delicious, you made it. Mm -hmm. You want all the glory. Yeah. Take all the glory. Yeah, Why I go rest, okay? Oh, you I was only kidding. What? I was only said... kidding. No, I was only kidding. Okay. Well, you just said you were... I was only kidding. Do you know what I was doing? Um, but you know, you know I can't do this on my own. You know, I always want you right beside me. Well, you want to take the glory, right? Mm -mm. You want to take all I the glory. I was kidding, mom. And I'm going to let you take all the glory. No. By going inside. <laughs> no, mom. Um, I, I want to go and rest. So no. You no. <laughs> no, you have to. Okay, you, you have don't to. Want... I mean, you have to stay and watch me now. You know, I can't do this on my own. I can't, I can't possibly cook everything. Wait, wait, without no. your assistance. Oh, what? When was the last time I flopped? So... Okay, I'm here now. What do you want? Okay, so where do I start from? Should I lit the fire or uh, you get try, the pot? You're trying to make me feel like a bad cook. Because I thought I already taught you all this. Oh, mommy. Okay, start by bringing out what you want to cook. So what are you making? What are you making for us? From now henceforth, do not allow anyone into my office without first seeking for my permission. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't have to repeat myself. Okay, Go call the rest. Yes, ma'am. He sent for us. Yes. I do not want you people to allow anyone inside my office without asking for my permission first. Okay. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, you go. Okay. okay. Sorry, ma. I forgot to tell you. Mr. Jerry came earlier. He asked me to give you and he has been pleading to come in. Just go dispose them. I don't need them. Go! God, like I'm just so super excited. You know why? You know, for a sec, I thought I almost lost my mom. Like, I thought I lost that to that nigga, you know, guy, you know. <laughs> see? You see? That's what I always tell you to calm down. Tina, calm down. Now you are excited. Of course, why wouldn't I and be? I'm happy for you, my dear friend. <laughs> it's about your normal so. <laughs> And I'm so happy that you stood by me all this while. I mean, I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm so excited! You silly girl. Oh. What to tell me? Hi, mom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, you guys should include me in this gossip because I want to be part of it. <laughs> so hit me with the gist. Well, it's no, nothing. yes, you tell me what is going on. I'm just happy. That's all. Yes, yeah, she's just happy. <laughs> okay, we are just happy. That's all. <laughs> well, girls, I came to inform you through that your food is ready. Okay. Meet me at the dining table. Be right behind you, Mom. Immediately. We are coming. Amy. <laughs> my mom food is very dramatic. She's just been dramatic as all this. Let's go. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Do 
please. Why are you doing this to us? Why? What have I done? I love you very much, Jane. You don't answer my calls. They won't let me into your office. Why? Kerry, I'm sorry to tell you now. I never loved you. We're only having fun. And if I haven't said this before to your face, I'm saying it right now. Stay far away from me. Please. Jane, that can't be true. Fun? No. I love you genuinely. I'm, I'm in love with you. Please, come on, give us a chance. Everybody wants good loving Sometimes emotions can be deceiving But there is a difference between a mother and a child, yeah No matter what, she's always there for a child, yeah, yeah She wants more She wants attention She's jealous Cause the mother don't give another man love Jerry. You know I know. You know I love you. I know you know. I love you. But I have to let you go. Just because of my daughter's happiness. She comes first. No, yeah, I am. What? Why is life so unfair? Why me?
morning, Mommy. How's your night? Not in my angel. Come, come, come. How was your night? It was fine. Mm. Hope you slept well. Of course I did. Been the weekend already. So happy weekend to you. <laughs> I need some more. I have prepared your breakfast. It's on really? the dining, so do well to eat it. Okay? I will. I'll be going to work. I've got very important appointment to attend to. But I won't waste time. I promise you I'll be back soon. Um, Mommy, are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. Do you're I not sure look okay? Fine. I'm very well. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. I'll be in my room. Don't forget to eat your food. Sure, I will. <laughs> What's up? Slept off? No. Guy, I, I, I'm disturbed. I am so disturbed. What is up? Jane has stopped picking my calls. I think she told her co-workers not to let me in at the office. She won't let me in at her house. She's even told me that she doesn't love me anymore. But I know she's lying. I know, I know she's lying. I just know she's lying. I knew it. She was just playing along as a single mom and I told you. No, that's not the reason. Then what is it? Ah, oh, it's her daughter. What happened? Ah, oh, her daughter, man. Her daughter just feels as if she's lost her mother's love to me. And that is why she hates our relationship so much. As if Jane is giving me more attention than she's giving her own daughter. That's what it looks like. And now, in order for Jane to win her daughter's trust back or the love back, she sacrificed our relationship. What I have with her, and that is the problem. This is very serious. I mean, no one can actually separate the bond between a mother and a child. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just loving them, that's all. Jerry. The mother's love is unbreakable. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just know I love Jane, man. I know I love Jane very much. And I don't want to lose her. In order to win her love back, you have to win her daughter's heart. I know. That's what I've been trying to tell you from the beginning. Love me, love my dog. But this girl won't break. She, she just, she's not affable. She's not welcoming me. She's just so mad about everything. I've never seen the girl smile. She just won't smile. And how am I going to, to win her? I don't get it. And I'm not a bad person. No, Jerry. You just have to try. Yes, you just have to try. I'm not trying to steal her mother from her. 
just try to love them more. You know? But you have to try, like I said. Sure, bro. Just chill. How's your nights? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. And you? Very well. <laughs> did you dress my room? Mm -hmm. I did. Wow. Um, Mom, remember you said you were going to teach me how to ride a bicycle. So why don't we do it today? Oh, I said that. Yes, bicycle time it is. Yes. So are you ready for me now? Yeah, sure. We Let's go. go. <laughs> okay. Because I'm your mother. And that is why I'm here. To always guide and direct you properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, mom. I want to ask you a question. What? Can I have a boyfriend? I mean, I'm up to 18 and I'm no longer a baby. <laughs> wow. That's okay. You can have a boyfriend, but under a few conditions. Uh, Which are, are? What are the conditions? You know you're not yet in your university levels. Okay. So if you can abide to these conditions, then you're free. And they are, number one, mm -hmm. you'll bring him here for me to meet him. Okay. Number two, hmm? mm -hmm. no sex. Okay. For now. Okay. Till when you get to your university level. Right now. When you are ready to make decisions for yourself, yeah? Then number three. You promise never to be caught with him alone in a closed place. Mm. <laughs> Mom, is that all? Yes. I was thinking it's something more than this. Of course. I will bring him home someday for you to see. Not someday, soon. Soon, I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to meet him. Yeah, sure, you will. Wow. <laughs> Love you, My Mommy. baby is a big girl now. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's 
continue. Let's right? continue. Okay. Oh, yeah. Practice you, makes perfect. So you climb. I'm so exhausted. Wait, madam. <laughs> what are you doing with my phone? Oh, you're still playing games. Come on, will you get up from there and help me arrange this room? My boyfriend will be coming tomorrow. So, how is it my business? <laughs> Why are you even telling me that? I'm telling you because I need you to sit your ass up and help me make this house. I mean, arrange my house because we have a special guest. My mom has gone to the market to buy foodstuffs, you know, because we want to welcome him in a very big way. You know what I mean? Yeah, please. Please, I came here to rest. Mm. I left the house because my mom was there disturbing me. Now you're here acting like her. Mm. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, now I know where that's coming from. Yeah, I can sense jealousy you're so jealous because you don't have a boyfriend I'm jealous boyfriend yeah. kill you dear good boyfriend help so jealous because i have a okay you know what before the count of three please stand up from that bed as well let's make this room as well get up because oh tina stop i said just stop get up one get up from that bed. is it by force let me not say come on force me come on arrange this come on force come on arrange this bed come on force me oh yeah oh yeah you know what you're i'll put it on the floor my mother will Don't even look at my try. Don't even try. My mother will kill you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm well prepared. Ah! <laughs> wow. Can you really prepare for this boyfriend? Just for your boyfriend. Because I rejected you, Jerry, you now went after my daughter. So Jerry has been the man, right? Mom, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! You both are betrayers! So this is how low you can go, Jerry. So this is it. My daughter, of all the girls in the world, is my daughter you went for. Shame on you! I am highly disappointed in the both of you. You both are betrayers. Now, get out of my house. Leave my house! I hate you! Mommy! Both of you! Leave my house! Leave my house this minute! I'm serious! Mom, mommy! Mommy! Mommy, listen! Listen to me! Mommy, I have something to say. Can you just calm down? Go inside there and get your things and leave this house! Mommy, I have something to say. Please. I've had enough of your mess. Okay? You leave right now! Mommy, listen! He has never been my boyfriend. Yes! Jerry can't and will not be my boyfriend. Okay, uh, so who is it? All these things we have planned. I, I, I was able to pull all this up through the help of your friend, Claudia. Yes, because mom, mom, you see, I noticed you started smoking and drinking and stuff like that. And of course, I know it's not good for your health. You went into depression. You were frustrated. And I know the reason is because you love him. So I, I had to arrange for this.
Hello. Jane, please don't leave me like this. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I've, if I've hurt you, if I've offended you, I'm so sorry. Jane, I love you very much. Please. It's Tina on the line. Um, please, meet me up at 5 p.m. tomorrow at the restaurant close to my house. And please, when coming, come alone. Okay. Auntie Claudia, pick your call. <sighs> okay, hello. Hello. No, it's me. It's Tina. Um, Auntie, please, I have a very important discussion with you. By 3 p.m. At the restaurant close to my house. Yes, please. Don't tell my mother about it. It's just between you and I. Thank you. Tina, what is the problem? You called me yesterday. Today you called me again that you want to see me. I hope all is well. Everything is perfectly okay, Auntie Claudia. It's just that my mom, she's been giving me sleepless nights. I'm so worried about her. Auntie Claudia, my mom started smoking and drinking. And you know, it's never of her behavior. Uh, has it got into that? I know it's just because of Jerry. Hmm. And I really wish to bring them back together. But I need help. I can't do it all by myself. Hmm. But the problem is that I'm scared. Because I don't want Jerry to end up hurting my mom. She's the only person I've caught. <sighs> You're really a smart girl. But, uh, man, I'm going out of town. Eh? But what I'm going to do is I will send my sister to you. Okay. Yes. What's important is that you and your mom, you are happy. Okay, we can't afford anyone to hurt her, but the way she's going, we just have to talk to the guy and make sure that he takes care of her. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I'm you here know? as well. Yeah, I'm here <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's okay, no problem, eh? Everything is going to be fine, okay? Alright. Hmm. I'll just run along now so my mom doesn't find you in front of our house. <laughs> she <laughs> thinks okay. we are gossiping. <laughs> So, Jerry, yeah. I mean, I just want to reconfirm, you know, about everything we spoke about. If you know you're going to hurt my friend or her emotions, please slip over it and let us know. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I mean, I, I heard all the plea, I've, I've heard everything, and as it is from the onset, I've been very upfront, so I don't have any issues at all. I promise I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm going to do nothing wrong. I'm just going to be who I am, which is a genuine person. So, no fears. You know how much I love my mom? You know how much I cherish that woman? And I wouldn't want anything happening to her, anything of any kind. So please, you have to strictly warn him for me, so he wouldn't end up being my first mother kiss. <laughs> I don't think it should get to that at all. I don't think so. <laughs> Look, Tina. To confirm again what I already just said, okay? I'm a genuine person and I've been in this because I truly love your mom. All right? And um, I believe in that proverb that says, love me, love my dog. I love your mom and I love you as well because you're the daughter. I know she's a single mother, I've accepted her as she is and I've pulled you along. I've been trying to get to you since, trying to show you how much I love you and care for you, but you've just created this barrier, you know, keeping me away. I I'm genuine, I promise you. But I know you've, you've had your own issues because you thought I was going to steal your mom away and all the nine yards. <laughs> what I do promise. you have me do? Well, I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry for the times I was mean to you and... I'm so sorry. It's mm. okay. That's my I mean, girl. I, was, I wasn't laughing then, but it's fine. It's a promise. Of course, a promise. A promise. Cross your hands. Yeah, of course. Raise my right hand. I promise. Okay. Come here. Yeah. Ooh. First hug ever. Huh? That's good. <laughs> 
Well, I will be off. Okay. See you around. so much <laughs> and you know your happiness has always been my priority <laughs> Tina you're really your father's daughter uh -uh. <laughs> thank you for restoring love peace and joy in this home congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Small. 